But there is one trick with using lithium batteries is that you really have to have a pre-charge resistor that short circuits the uh, relay that turns on the motor controller. And that's right here. And this cart already had it, it came with it. But if your cart doesn't have it, you wanna use lithium, look up pre-charge resistors and figure out the one for 48 volts, 36 volts, whatever it is. This is really important to have because the capacitors in here, when they click on, they can actually trick these batteries into thinking it's an, there's an overcurrent situation and the protection inside these batteries will shut them off. And then you have to disconnect the system to get them to come back on. Hopefully we don't have any problems, but we're gonna find out if, uh, if this is the right way to go. Now I gotta figure out where this uh, battery monitor is gonna go. So this is our, our primary negative terminal. And then we're gonna have this all in series. So the primary negative terminal needs to come to this. And then from this, we need to have another little chunk to here. Maybe I should flip this battery around. Mm. So then we're gonna go positive to negative, positive to negative, probably should flip this one, and then positive to negative. So we're creating a 48 volt uh, system. That's, uh, that's kind of what we're doing here. Now we just gotta figure out where everything's gonna go. This is your shunt. So all the power flows through these little bars here. And then it takes a, a battery reading from the other side of the battery. 